So we Good have the remaining have last game here. We have Scotland versus England. Oh god. Scotland versus Wales. Light tanks. Light tanks right off the bat. Oh my god. god. Let's That's why show you don't play light support. <laughs> that is why you don't play light support in a red alert. <laughs> That's gonna you get a light show them Scottish. Oh god. <laughs> Hey there, I'm a light tank. <laughs> Ranger with Ranger the uh, drop rocket. Off a random rocket soldier. Uh, sorry, Bob, just drop yep. off a random rocket soldier. Madness ensues. <laughs> Pretty good. That's what we like to see here. The light tank of Barf is not gonna make it, it's gonna make no. it. In fact. So, Five Faces, what did I say when you said, like, uh, you're gonna now fight each other? I'm curious. Uh, what did they say when you told them, like, now you're gonna fight each other? Uh, they were just like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they were surprised, they didn't know about it. That's the uh, beauty of it. It was like, yeah. We should have told him it's about the price money. Yeah! <laughs> 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 that would have been awesome. <laughs> that would have been just so rude, but because it would be that, so funny. That also would have made, like, we were having fears that some of them would have would be short on time, that they had to leave right after the matches, but that would have made sure that they also stayed. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, uh, Frame Limiter is having a massive advantage here. First off, he gets a crit with a Ranger. And second off, he gets to block the refinery of Barf if nothing serious happens here. Yep. Guys, I'm having some serious frame drops here. Uh, on on every everything in your end, or is it just OBS? It's OBS, just, just dropping OBS frames. Off. That's weird. We can hear you loud and clear. Yeah, but the recording is having frame drops. I guess it just cannot handle the awesomeness that we've got planned. The evil. Yeah. OBS is backstabbing you. Yeah. Hard time. <laughs> Okay, the match is kind of normalized, <laughs> as, as normal as it gets here. Barf having another light tank out, he just wants the block, he wants it so bad right there. And Frame is now opening up uh, the concrete walls. Yeah. He wants to get the juicy juicy gems. Indeed. Rocket soldiers helping Ranger too. Ranger in dire straits. Yeah, but it takes a while. Uh, the only thing that reliably kills concrete walls in the early game is a Grenadier from the Soviets. The Allies don't have reliable killers. Yep. That's gonna be. Oh god. Is it gonna Blame be a block? Better. Probably. Either a block or it just has to stifle his eco for so long. Yep. Okay, double ref now. Double no ref. No problem indeed. anymore. Yep. Nothing achieved there. Ooh. Okay, Harvester can go back to work. Nice. Okay, frame is open, open up. The gap is open. Uh huh. Four harvesters though, by Barf. That is overkill. On a map like that. What's like, that thing? So we're near starting position. He's actually ahead in the macro, believe it or not. <laughs> the Rangers getting some juicy, juicy kills here. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Ooh, finally. Nice little Gems gap. Wide, low and wide open here. Yep. Nice little gap. You got the surface depot for both players here. Uh huh. MCV out for Barf. He's going for the Econ game. Probably for the late game, I'd say even. There's a great right in Barf's vision range. He should, should just get it. You read next oh, to his uh, barracks over there. He's gonna grab it with a bunch of infantry. It. Yep. No! <laughs> <laughs> Cashing in on a flame crate. Just one the though. Art of fire. It's a Striking back. Present from the art of fire. <laughs> Striking back. Feel. Even the art of fire backstabbing, backstabbing Barf here. Yeah. I can see you're having some serious beer action going. Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens yeah. when work is done. Yeah, yeah, it's beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. You, get, you, you go ahead. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, okay. More work, yeah. more beer, more work. Work, work. Work, work. Okay, well, here's the uh, uh, ranger. Ranger, running out. Running for, run for your life, little ranger. Using the you won't live long enough to, to get enjoy rid it. of the walls. That is something. Like to get rid of the walls. Turret. Oh, we're having the iron curtain on the medium tank from the crate. Very good. Double it can go for a nice crash. Uh, you know, that can actually be pretty clear. Crush them! Crush, crush them all! Kill, destroy. Crush, kill, destroy. Crush them all! Crush, kill, destroy. You go in. He, he should have just tried and crushed them with his Go in and go yeah. in like the US marshals. He, he should have tried crushing them, seriously. So that's like one at a yep. chance. I mean, you, in, in IC medium tank, like at this stage. Barf. Crush them! Bray your balls. Barf, I just found your balls on the wall, on the on the floor. They dropped. Look at this. Yep. Your balls have dropped. <laughs> your balls are inert. They are not inert, they were lying on the floor. Like just <laughs> being inert. <laughs> Yeah. They were lying on the floor. That's far from the nerd. <laughs> That's how low they've dropped. Mm -hmm. The ranger is back. The ranger got repaired. The ranger got great now. Maybe if ranger decide to take great, then the ranger have great. Heinz, uh, take advantage here for Barf. Would you believe it? Uh, okay. He is the first RD, the pummel the order refinery. Two RDs. Uh -huh. Relentlessly wow. pummeling the order refinery. It's pretty bad for frame that he, because he hadn't ticked. So there's no bueno for him. ORF rip in pepperonis. Bye bye. Boom. Yeah, on this map you need to tick, by the way. And uh, okay. that's something that frame just can't handle. Can't handle the tick. He's been losing map control here. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, one of the crate drops contained another tank. Amazing how such a large tank can fit inside such a small sized box. I've actually, uh, in the very first open RA match that I ever observed, I saw a Soviet guy get a uh, mammoth tank from a crate. Didn't that get removed? I, I know it used to be the case. No, but it actually it happened. What the hell? It's pretty broken. I, I know uh, in a tournament match, in the first big team tournament, where I wasn't even part of the scene yet, it was casted by Ryder Rockon, and someone got a medium tank, uh, a mammoth tank right from the first crate. Ooh. 30 seconds in, first mammoth tank out. That's death deadly. That was, that was pretty bonkers. Marsh Art is struggling over here. Right tech choice here for Barf. Unchallenged. Yes. Those are tanks that are coming in. Tank oh. versus tank. But no yep. trikes. No one has built any trikes, Chi Chi. Oh, oh. Nice micro. Focusing the rocket soldiers. And here we have the tanky tank engagement. Might get. Mm. Might actually get a lot of stuff here. Rocket soldiers coming right up. Yep. Pillbox is still focusing those three fucking camo pillboxes that you can't even see. Yeah, they are difficult to spot, even for us observers. Yeah, and they're stealthed for the uh, for the opponent, so he doesn't even know they're there unless until they fire. Uh -huh. That is how strong they actually are. But here we have some turret turrets. Some Her turret. Yeah. If we have strikes so going up here. If we, uh, Damn, Mark. so many crates. Rain limiter. Take the crates. Take the gift that Aaron Jesus has offered to you. Uh -huh. He has bestowed upon ye a gift of a rank up. Nice. <laughs> Mark should go <laughs> get that fire. crate. Artillery is backstabbing here. Friendly fire mode activated. Yep. Mark should go get the crates Ooh, right, the right over there. Right into the AA gun. Frame limiter versus your ferocious tank tank blob now. Uh -huh. Who's tank blobbing now? 
Outlaw this. <laughs> well, the oh, army camo is sure, uh, the army said camo the work. might save him here. Camo has killed all the rocket soldiers, so most of this them. is my boomstick. This is impossible. My Still friend, this is impossible. Good. Really good deal here. Well, there goes the last oh. tank. I see. So, RNG Jesus has bestowed upon ye a gift. You take gift, you accept gift. If but you're I, wondering no. how far we are into the game, besides to the counter, the, the little ore patches have been mined out. Yeah. Which is actually quite fast to do. It's like uh, three or four loads, I think. Ah, now attack is commencing. There is ferocious tank blob. Ferocious artillery blob is even even more ferocious. Ferocious -er. Well, let's see how Barf is doing. He has been taking the economically upper hand, so um, there's yep. a crate right under the halleys. Unnoticed what so far. What a shame for this spray here for frame There's limited. the crate, Barf collected. There this go. might this might be first first game I'm in Red Alert lost for uh, for frame limit. Uh, that's what why I wanted to do this. Spray? That's why I wanted <laughs> to do it. No wait, I should just build more tanks instead. <laughs> yeah. Defense. Look at your base defenses. No, look at your base. They are defenses. They are inadequate. No, look at your base, general. Your defenses. They are inadequate. Nice. Pretty savage here, on all fronts. Defense, defense, defense. I mean, he's got three very defensive bunkers here. Yeah, camo pillboxes. Look at those three defensive pillboxes, man. But that's I why like, I'm I saying like Barf should have done that too. I agree. Well, he's using his economic advantage to the force now. No, he's using his defensive advantage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because we know he's so how ahead of the defensive like curve, defense. but he, he don't even care. Righto, mate. There goes the primary barracks. And the crate has disappeared. Who, who's the shit about crate this, at this stage? <laughs> what a shame for the dish prey. And all he has are the hinds. Take the crate. Take, Take it. it. It's a gift. It's a gift to your arty. Take it. It's a gift from, from Team Art of Fire. <laughs> Take it. It's definitely not a trap. Spectators should be able to drop down crates at specific locations so like they are like tagged. So if you hover over them with the mouse, you can hover over them with the mouse, it shows oh. you a message. Rank up. Yes. Ah. Very well worth it. On the rifle infantry. Rival, rival infantry. Oh no, the defensive pillbox is getting cleared by a defensive tank and uh, defensive artilleries. Oh, the eco. French just didn't build any trikes, man. Yeah. Should have built more trikes, in my honest opinion. Look at all those hearts. Those are basically flying trucks. Yeah, true. What a great way to fail. Hey, Amo! How you doing, buddy? Look at the map control. Oh, yeah, that's basically flying trucks. You can accept that. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna play some worms. Oh shit, he could kill so many hinds here. Enabling debug mode. Placing worms. <laughs> yep. <laughs> worms on. Worms on, GG. A lumber trike. <laughs> oh, tech snipe. Mm, tech snipe not happening. Or is it? Yeah. <laughs> if he can't win, at least he's gonna he's gonna damage the morale. 
Uh -huh. Ow, 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 Please ow, don't ow. hurt. Stop hurting. That was a lot of riflemen. That was a full ammo load of riflemen. Can I get some new shoes? Nope, not this time. <laughs> My tanks. Oh, he's gonna block every single, every single um, refinery at once. I'd like to see that. Yo, real talk, what Barf needs to do is flush out uh, the ore refineries top left. So that's still providing a lot of income. Yeah, they've ecoed out since Barf took the advantage because of the middle, but now they've ecoed out. But it's gonna change here shortly because there's some reserves in his main deposits. Mm hmm. Well, look at those light tags poking away at the harvester. Yeah, killing Ooh. a harvester even. But it's now going to retreat to the refinery where there is a turret. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, refinery, kill refinery. Go, choose Oh wow, Why is look at the tight army in the north, it's gonna kill everything. They kill refinery? The refinery need to die right oh, now? Oh, look at the north, look oui, at oui, it! Oui, 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 très bon. The power is down, ah. there is no more entire. No power, pulling a doomy. He's building a doomy right here. Oh yeah, when you said earlier, pulling the soul scared means something. It also means, it has a secondary meaning. It means like building a radar dome and immediately powering it off because you need the power, but never turning it and on again. never turning it back on again. For whatever, God knows what reason. That's pulling soul scared too. Soul scared, it just doesn't like the radar. I don't know. He's the radar racist, anti-radar racist. Say, that change, that is not actually, that's not frequent anymore. So I think this is it. He's <laughs> rush. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Who knows? Oh, no, he's not giving up yet. Frame getting framed here. Huh? Crush on the media of the uh, light tanks. This never gonna the, give you up. Never gonna fun. let you down. Probably gonna be the first un unofficial lose of frame limiter in this tournament. Uh, why, why are you talking about unofficial? It's perfectly official here. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Uh, there are three, at least, yeah, four officials present. Yeah. This is GG! You're calling the GG! Very well played. The first loss for frame limiter in this entire tournament in Red Alert. Indeed. And with that. With that. We are concluding our tournament. Um, Flame and Rand Barf, I'm going to tell them to stick around until oh. after that because we're gonna discuss the details. Yeah. Uh, just a sec. Crisis. Put them in here. It's hey, Flame Christmas, and Barf, everybody. Come on, we in. just Get your pulled you back in right here, here because we wanted to tell you to stick around until after the stream because we're gonna discuss uh, how you get the price money and stuff like that. Okay. <laughs> right. So. Well, that pretty good game. I'm going to be ending it off here. Um, I thank everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on any of those videos. That has, yes. have taken me ages to edit <laughs> properly. Same yeah. here. Same here. Look, Still editing. Look forward to the splendid work of editing that will be done in the future. So, thanks everyone for watching. It's been a great tournament. It's been great fun. Especially towards the end. Indeed. Got really, really great. Jazz, once hey. again, thank you for hosting the uh, the server. Really do appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So scared, five faces. I'm honored to have been a part of your tournament. And of course, also a shout out once again to... Uh, 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 Ripley? Ripley, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Um, yeah, once again, it's been an honor uh, that I'm, I'm able to... Uh, step into the open RI community with this tournament and now that I've been challenged to do my own tournament with the generous donations of CCCP21 and uh, Sarah Phoenix in the near-ish future I will be starting to talk about that more lively yes we're probably gonna join you as casters as well so that time I we're gonna be the co-casters I would be honored yes. but anyway that's going to be it for us today. I thank you all for watching. My name is Hector Doomember. I am your evil overlord. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye.
Hey guys, we should pull you into the tournament stream, and there's gonna be another small surprise other than the uh, other than the backstab match that you're gonna have to do. We're going to interview you for a bit. Yes, indeed. First of all, congratulations on your victory. Congratulations. Uh huh. Thanks, guys. Thanks yeah, for really. host hosting a great tournament. Yeah. Um, five ages. Can you immediately update the bracket really quick? Just a sec. We are having a 6-0 for you guys. So yeah, we're having a couple questions for you. Uh, one of them being, uh, did you have any tactics planned out? Did you have any plan laid out? What was your backup strategy in case shit went TD? Um, we practiced together for basically a week before the tournament started. And not too much, actually, this week in between the rounds. Uh, but basically, we knew that if we were playing Team Imba, or if we were playing uh, Anju, that TD was not going to be our best mod. So <laughs> if, we, if we won coin flips, uh, we decided that we would probably play Red Alert. Um, we practiced Dune a little bit, and we ended up playing a little bit of Dune in the earlier rounds when people picked it, so that kind of came back uh, to pay off a little bit for us. but. Um, I don't know. Frame, do you have anything to add? No, not really. No. So yeah, it looks like you've practiced a long time. So, yeah. Dumi, your next question. Uh, how did you come to the decision that the two of you would team up and that you would not allow for other guys to team up with you? Frame, you want to take that one? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess I was a little reluctant to join because I'm not much of a TV player or a Doom player. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, Bark and I talked about it, and I guess we, I didn't run into many other people that were, you know, eager to join up and everything, so. Yeah, um, basically both of us were kind of on the fence about playing in the tournament, and, but we play together a lot, um, uh, normally, anyway, so we had talked about it, and, um, Neither of us had a partner, and both of us thought that if we teamed up, we would have a pretty good shot, uh, and it would be fun, and we got some encouragement from Five Aces to play, because uh, at the time, it seemed that nobody would be able to take on Team Spirillo, so uh, Five Aces gave us some encouragement to play, and I yeah. uh, have to give a shout out also to Amhole for giving us some encouragement to team up and play, and we uh, we named our team in his honor. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. where the Amholes came to be. Yeah, Pretty nice. Team Spirillo was a very beautiful fact of the tournament, and everybody had high hopes, but alas, things went differently. So, uh, next question. Did you have plans for TD as well? Did you have, like, any setup plan there, or was it just go, go, with, the, go with the flow? No, we didn't have any TD plans. Uh, neither of us are particularly experienced. I think I had a little bit more experience than Frame did with TD. But uh, both of us knew that if we were up against a team that had AOA or Anju or, um, you know, even Spy or anyone like that in TD, we were pretty much just going to concede the match uh, and hope that we got good coin flips because we, know, we knew that if we only had a few days to practice that we wouldn't be able to mm -hmm. improve enough to take them on. Right. Do, me, do we have another question? Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, you were the only guys that uh, fought teams that were complete the entire time. Um, I, don't, I don't think that anybody intentionally tried to screw the tournament over, so I don't have any, any bad will towards that. But I think there are ways uh, in terms of organization and maybe offering people some kind of motivation to show up that we could change in the future that would ensure um, maybe a little bit better turnout. Will we be okay, seeing uh, you guys um, fight each other in a 1v1 tournament eventually? Because you're gonna do it today in a couple of moments, but let's say that the two of you will end up in a 1v1 tournament on opposite brackets and then could we expect to see you guys fight in the finals or semi-finals or at some point? I guess that depends on who else is in the tournament. If it's the Global League, I'm I'm going to be playing there as well. So it's going to be really yeah. exciting. I think uh, I think if Five Aces or Spy or uh, or Murto is also in uh, the bracket, then I think 
but, you know, it'll be tough to get to the finals in, in any tournament with those guys in it. We're so scared. Right. So, what, one next question. Uh, on a scale from one to fuck yeah, how happy are you that Spy actually opted out on the tourney? Frame, you got an answer for that one? Uh, well, I don't know. I think it, it's always fun to play them. So, it's, uh, yeah. it's nice to actually win the tournament, but I always look forward to playing them. Yeah, yeah. It, would have posed, it would have posed a challenge because I think, Frame, you were pretty unopposed in Red Alert. Marta could have been a tough opponent, but considering that he didn't make it to the finals, uh, Andrew is just not a match in Red Alert. He has more experience in Tabir and Dawn. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Murdo and Gatekeeper were the uh, big Red Alert threat. But. Yeah, I would have liked to see Spy uh, play in the tournament. Mm. You know, it's good to have the best players that we can get um, play, but in terms of us actually winning, yeah, I think that helped us out a little bit. I did. Okay, so looking looking at you, Spy, because you're probably still watching the stream. Uh, some little motivation for staying and sticking with the tourney next time, because uh, we need competition. So frame was pretty unopposed there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, do we any more questions? No, I'm just having some serious frame drops here on my end. Nice. So that's probably going to uh, conclude the interview part of the tournament. Thanks, guys. And now we're going to want to see the backstab turret. Backstab Indeed. part of the tournament. Now you are going to fight each other. This is just yes. one match.